CATIE is a, an organization that does research, but also we, we do higher education. We have masters and doctoral programs, and we also do outreach. We, we implement projects in the field. Uh, we work in five scientific programs. Uh, sustainable agriculture and agroforestry is one. The other is uh, livestock uh, and environmental management, so how to promote different, a different kind of livestock production systems. And forestry, including from conservation all the way to production. Also climate change and watershed management. Uh, we want to give climate change also a territorial approach. And the other uh, is uh, related to environmental economics and social issues. This is Katia's 40th anniversary, uh, yes, and though the origin of Katia started 71 years ago, and that's because the, the former uh, Secretary of Agriculture of the U.S., Henry Wallace, uh, he inspired and motivated the ministers of agriculture of the whole continent that this region needed uh, the model of the U.S. land-grant university system. Ah, yes. So the, it was created the Inter-American Institute for Agricultural Sciences, at that time IICA. And 30 years later, Katia took that role with this name. First, uh, we need to put science, uh, for science in the front, and uh, to science to be relevant, relevant for production, but also relevant to policies. And in order to do that, this is a regional event. However, we are having a participation from all continents, which is very good. Uh, to do that, we need to to have forest scientists and people related in, in, in forest science uh, from all different disciplines to be more active in the global processes uh, like UFRO. Uh, UFRO, which is the International Union of Forest Research Organizations, it's very old, it has about 15,000 members, almost 700 organizations, it's 121 years old. And Latin America uh, participation is weak. So this is the third uh, Latin American Congress and, we, and the largest. And with this Congress, what we want is to motivate Latin Americans to be more active in, in UFRO, to cooperate more with other research centers uh, like C4, for example. And Latin America is a key player uh, in terms of forest land. And we need Latin America to take its role, to take its place in, in the global agenda. For me, I've been saying is to develop the processes to build a shared vision of where to go with, with forestry and with the management of uh, natural resources. And that's not easy. That requires that uh, the different stakeholders sit together in a platform, in a process, to agree what to do. Because I believe that when there is no agreement, there is a lot of energy lost. And when there is agreement, you can align the capacities, the skills, the resources, the energy in general of all those stakeholders, because we need to uh, change this in an urgent way. The challenges we are facing uh, require urgent action. What we have done to the, to the landscapes is basically what we've done in the last 50 to 70 years. And we need a much shorter time to restore our landscapes, and I'm sure that that could be done, uh, but requires a shared vision, and this means agreements, so we need those negotiation processes.